Hey, today I wanted to talk about something that um, some teachers and students go through with regards to uh, work ethic in robotics. I know it's a, a big issue for some teams to where they have players on their team that don't necessarily work as hard as others. Um, they don't necessarily have a passion for it and uh, teammates are always looking at those students in a way that's um, negative and I kind of wanted to touch on that because it's a it's a rough subject I've dealt with it as a teacher I know some te teachers have as well but um, it was based off of a comment that was left in one of the videos about uh, you know what this student should do in terms of motivating that student to try to do better and um, really that has to do with you that has to do with your dedication and your ability to allow that student to learn from you um, but the first thing that I would probably do as either a teacher or a student, a team captain or anybody who's in charge of the team is I would sit down and I would kind of just ask that student if this is something that they really want to do or are they being forced to do it because you can't really force someone to be passionate about robotics. Um, they might come in and they go to a VEX Robotics competition and if after that they are not interested or they're still the same person then it really might be something that they're just not into and you can't really force them to try to be into it so um, maybe it's something you want to talk to the teacher about and try to figure out but as with regards to my classroom I know that you guys watch these videos and you see all of the kids working and and being productive but it wasn't always like that um, there were a lot of trial and error and struggle and students that really didn't care about it and the first part was is that I had to show um, my passion for this I had to show them that this was something that I really cared about I cared about all the parts I cared about how well um, they performed at competitions I were I cared about their knowledge of the material and how to build and making them better and Sooner or later, what really started to happen was that some of the students who really started to care about it, they were the ones that actually stuck around. Um, the ones that didn't really care about it, they usually found themselves going into a different uh, type of program, uh, which is fine. Uh, it didn't make me mad, but it, what it did is that what it, it strengthened the teams that I did have. It made them focus a lot more and um, it made the team a lot more cohesive because those students who didn't have a passion for it found themselves leaving. So um, that's um, one thing. The other thing about this is that some of the issue with students who don't uh, work hard, half, half of it has to do with, or the majority of it is, the knowledge of being able to, knowing where to start. Um, some of the kids come in and they have no idea where to begin and some of the teachers that start too um, I've been there to where you're not really sure about where to start with these kids and that's natural um, but when it comes to team oriented things if you're a teammate with someone like that on your team you have to encourage them if there's anything that they're gonna learn is your passion for uh, VEX Robotics competition and how much you love it and to befriend someone like that uh, you have to show them that passion and to guide them and show them how to build and um, just include them in everything that you're doing and 
have it not just pertain to things inside the classroom, but also outside the classroom. Um, I have a lot of kids in my class, and I would say 100% of them talk outside of school. Uh, they go watch movies together. They do other things aside from just being in this classroom. And that's what a team is. They're your brothers. They're your sisters. They, they care about you other than just being in this class or in your class. So um, that's another way. Include them in the things that you find important with regards to VEX Robotics. Send them videos that you saw to help them. Have them watch those things to try to encourage and increase their knowledge. So that way, when they do come to class, um, they're getting up to speed. And it's a result of you being a leader and showing them kind of where they should go and how they should go about finding the information. The next thing I would probably say is to not set high expectations for those students who are, or kids, who are on your team that um, just come in. Realize that they're not as good as you are and that could be super intimidating for them. Um, knowing that they're coming into a situation to where there's a bunch of kids in the class who, or on the team, who are, uh, who know more than they do. And they may feel like they're coming into something that um, is just far beyond them. But let them know that they can do it and that you're going to help them. And watch how things change once you include them and you treat them as though they are your equal. Um, those things will change. They might develop that passion and then all of a sudden you got yourself a teammate. And who knows? Who knows what can happen? So I'm thankful that everybody's watching these videos. Um, I appreciate all, again, I appreciate all of the uh, just comments, uh, good comments and um, just the love that, that has been shown to me as well as my uh, students. Um, I hope that it continues. And if you guys, again, have any questions with regards to you know, your teams or anything like that, let me know. I'm, I'm more than willing to make a video with regards to the question because chances are, uh, if you have that question, other people will too. So thank you again for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.